an antebellum sermon. We is gathered here, my brothers and sisters, in this howling wilderness, for to speak some words of comfort to each other in distress. And we chooses for our subject, and this we will explain it by and by. And the Lord said, Moses, Moses, and the man said, Here am I. Now old Pharaoh down in Egypt, he was the worst man ever born. And he had the Hebrew children uh, down there a uh, working in his corn. Twa the Lord got tired of his fooling, says he, I will let him know. Look here, Moses, go tell Pharaoh for to let them children go. And if he refuses to do it, I will make him rue the hour, for I will empty down on Egypt all the vials of my power. Yes, he did. And Pharaoh's army wasn't worth half a dime, for the Lord will help his children, and you can trust him every time. And your enemies may sail you in the back and in the front, but the Lord is all around you for to bear the battle's brunt. And they can forge your chains and shackles from the mountains to the seas, but the Lord will send some Moses for to set his children free. And the land shall hear his thunder like a blast from Gabriel's horn. For the Lord of hosts is a mighty when he girds his armor on. But for fear someone mistakes me, I will pause right here to say that I'm a still a pretty ancient. I'm not talking about today. But I'll tell you, fellow Christians, things will happen mighty strange. Now the Lord done this for Israel and his ways don't never change. And the love he showed to Israel wasn't all on Israel spent. Now don't you run and tell your masters that as a preaching discontent, cause I isn't as a judging Bible people by their acts, as a handing you the scripture and as a handing you the facts. Koso Pharaoh believed in slavery, but the Lord, he let him see that the people he put breath in, every mother's son was free. And there's others think like Pharaoh, and they call the scripture liar. But the Bible says that a servant is a worthy of his hire. And you can't get round or through that, and you can't get over it. For whatever place you get in, this here Bible too will fit in. So you see the Lord's intention ever since the world began was that his almighty freedom should belong to every man. But I think it would be better if I paused again to say that I'm a talking about our freedom in a Bibleistic way. But the Moses is a coming, and he's coming sure and fast. We can hear his feet a trumpet, and we can hear the trumpet blast. But I want to warn you people, don't you get too briggedy, and don't you get to bragging about these things. You wait and see. But when the Moses comes with his power and sets us chillin free, we will praise the gracious master that has given us liberty. And we will shout our hallelujahs on that mighty reckoning day when we is recognized as citizens. Ha <laughs> ha, children, let us pray. <laughs>